what's up, it's Jenny. Welcome to another weekly video on my channel. For today's video, I have been waiting to make this video ever since I started my YouTube channel, but I'm finally doing a makeup look for the character Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like because of Sukuna, it was like the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel, so that's pretty exciting. I dyed my hair hot pink a few weeks ago, or it's been a couple months now, I'm not really sure, but it's been fading slowly, and I feel like if I don't do the Sukuna video now, my hair will not be pink anymore, so that's why I'm making it now. Uh, before the video starts, I want to mention some of my other social media platforms. I have a TikTok account where I post other anime-related content, so that includes like room decor or hair anime hairstyles. So if you're interested in that, my social media handle will be somewhere in the video, or you can click on the link in the description down below for an easy access to all my accounts. I also have an Instagram account where, of course, I post all the pics to my anime makeup looks, but I also have been posting reels lately, and they're more fashion-related, but there's some other content on there as well. If you're interested in that, again, the link is in the description down below. But enough about that, we can get right into the video. Alright, so prior to the video starting, I already put on some concealer and foundation, but we're gonna get started with doing the contour and highlight part of the makeup look. Uh, because Sukuna is very... Uh, muscular, I want a very sculpted face. And also having a sculpted face with the contour is gonna go nicely with the like little marks on his face. So I am using this NYX Wonder Stick Contour Stick. And I'm gonna start by trying to get a sharp jaw. Or sharp, sharp like sculpted face. I don't know. I feel like I am jumbling all my words today. But I kind of just make an angled line right here. I'm gonna sculpt out my jaw. And also right here on my forehead for some more depth. Alright, now I'm gonna take the highlight color and go in the same areas. So right underneath the contour lines. the center of my chin and forehead, and the nose highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna blend this all out with the beauty blender. Alright, all my contour is done, and I went ahead and put on some setting powder. We're gonna go ahead and start with the little lines that Yuji has normally, and I'm gonna be using a dark brown liquid eyeliner for that. It's basically like a little boomerang on the corners of its eyes, like that's what the shape looks like. So I'm gonna try to start that with one side. Um, I feel like for everyone, depending on your eye shape, it'll be different. I just have to shake this up. Alright, I got the Yuji marks down, and now we can get started with the Sukuna marks. I'm gonna be taking this water activated eyeliner kit, and it's from the brand Matte Lashes. And I'm taking this small, thin nail art brush. And I'm gonna start with this brush because I'm worried I'm gonna make a mistake, and I can always make the line sticker later on. But we're gonna go ahead and continue the lines that are on his eyes. So there's like another little V line, but there's a uh, horizontal line. You'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna start with a V, pretty much in the same area, just right below. And then there's two horizontal lines on each end. And I'm just gonna try to perfect it and make the lines more uniform. All right, and right under this, there's another shape that's similar, but this time it's more like a trapezoid. So I'm gonna start with that. And the trapezoid also has like the two horizontal lines. And this shape is going to be a bit more thicker than the one above it. 
Okay, now we're gonna get started with the lines or kind of like outlining the side of his face. First, there's just a small little straight line that comes out from the trapezoid shape. I'm kind of just trying to get the general shape idea so that I can add thickness later on and fix it to my liking. And connected to the straight line is an angled face that kind of outlines this part of my cheek. Okay, here's that next line, and now there's another angled out line that comes about like right here for my jaw. And then connected to that is a tiny line that angles upwards. And then this one has a pointed triangle shape connected that goes downwards. Alright, I think I got the general idea, so now we're just gonna go back in and add some more thickness and perfect it. Okay, I got like the cheek and jaw marks. There's these two little triangle shapes right next to these uh, lines, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Okay, got the two marks on my chin down, and now I'm gonna do the shapes on the forehead. I'm just following the reference picture, but sometimes when I make this video, I try to keep in mind that for some people it's like easier to watch someone else do it. So yeah, that's why I continue to make these videos, but they're also fun for me, so like yeah. Okay, first shape is not perfect, but as long as I get the other one to kind of match, I think it will be okay. Okay, and to finish off the forehead, there's like this little diamond-like shape in the center. Alright, I'm gonna take a little break from doing the marks that are on his face, and I'm gonna do some of the eye look now. I'm gonna be using this light brown shade right here and put it all over my lid. I didn't want anything too dramatic for the eye look. I kind of just wanted it to be simple since there's already so much going on with the face. And then right over that, I'm gonna take this caramel shade right here or caramel, I'm not really sure. And kind of have it on the upper part of my eyelid. Just some more like uh, shadowiness and more depth to my eyes. And I'm mainly just gonna keep it on the outer corners of my eyes. Okay, and I want some inner corner highlights, so I'm going with this small round eyeshadow brush and this light glimmery shade right here. And I'm gonna put this on my inner corners. And I'm just gonna use my pinky to kind of blend it out. And to finish off the eye look, I'm just gonna quickly do a winged eyeliner off camera. All right, there's one last mark that I didn't do yet, and it's the little nose line right here. But before I do that, I wanted to highlight some parts of my face. I'm gonna go back in the shade I was using for my inner corner and do some nose highlight. I'm just taking the same brush and then blending it out with my finger. I'm gonna do a little bit on my brow bone area and a little bit on my cupid's bow. And we can move on to doing the last mark on the face, which is a little nose line. Okay, last but not least is lips. I'm going to be taking this angled brush and I'm going in the medium brown shade right here. And I'm going to do this so that I can get a more pointed lip shape. I feel like when I do this, my lips my overall makeup look becomes more sinister and I like doing that for certain characters because you know Sukuna is the king of the curses so he's more sinister. 
And I'm gonna take that same shade and line the outside of my lips. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers. And for lip gloss, I'm gonna be taking a nude brown shade. And I want a bit more color for my lips, so I'm gonna be taking a red lip gloss and put a little bit in the center. And kind of just blend out with my lips. Alright, so off camera, I'm gonna be putting in some red contacts and then some false lashes on and some setting spray, and we'll go see the final look. Alright, here is the finished makeup look. I really loved how it turned out. I'm very excited that I finally got to do Sakuna for a video, but I'm also looking forward to what other characters I can do in the future. You can let me know what you think about the makeup look in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions for a character that I can try a makeup look for, I would also love to hear about that in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you want more anime and makeup related content in the future. Don't forget to check out my social media accounts if you're interested in the other anime related content that I post. But yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye!